Welcome back to another edition of Backyards YouTube. I'm your host, Mike, and Cree is not with me today, so it'll be just me today. And today's episode is all about Pergola and brought to you by Toya Grid today, because Toya Grid is the assembly piece that I chose to use. Um, yeah, as you can see, let's see. It's still holding up. So when we decided to add this addition to our backyard, we were trying to look for the smoothest and easiest way to assemble a pergola in our backyard. And we did some research and the option that I came up with was through Toya Grid. Uh, it seemed fairly self-explanatory. Um, I figured that was me and something that me and Cree could get done together with just the two of us. We ended up needing our neighbors help Niverto for just about a few seconds of the project. But um, again, uh, it's a two man job or a man and a woman's job and we got it done. Um, so we chose Toya Grit. Okay. So when we decided on what pergola we wanted to put up in the backyard, we had to submit a rendering or a survey of the actual project to our HOA. So I sent it in the first time and they said, yeah, that'll work. But when I showed them the actual pergola a picture of it, they ended up saying that I could not do it because the top had to be an open lattice, meaning it had to have air flowing through it and wood on top of it. So they denied my first rendering of it and Toya Grid um, refunded me the money for uh, the equipment that I bought the first time. I bought a, a sale to go up here, a shade sale, and then Toya Grid uh, refunded me the money for uh, the sale because I no longer needed it and couldn't use it on this project. So check with your HOA before you purchase and before you build, especially before you build, but before you purchase. So luckily I called it in time and was able to Get everything approved the right way okay as you'll see we are clearly not professionals throughout this video so bear with us again like i said i had to crack the whip this morning put her to work got her out here staining these beams she thought she was gonna sleep in this morning <laughs> ha 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 crack that whip All right, so we put our first coat down of cedar natural tone, I believe it is, from Olympic. We used all pressure treated wood, so we had to let it all dry out in order to stain it and for it to fit inside those pergola posts. Pergola will be one post, two posts across, another post across, another post. Working on it. I'm gonna turn this back in. So, getting this ground together, one hole dug, but still not where I need it. It needs to be two feet, but I'm not sure I'm gonna be one. Yes, I'm only doing this so I get a true measurement of how deep this hole is. I can know how, how much to cut on those 10 foot posts over there. The moral of the story is you shouldn't run your sprinkler right before you, or right after you dig your hole. <laughs> you shouldn't run your sprinkler. Oh, I added some gravel to the bottom of the hole. Here was take my 
post. Take my post, tamper down the gravel. And then I'll add concrete to it after that. So you can get these things in the ground. So I've already pre-drilled the holes in each corner. I'm gonna take these screws and try to, I guess, bolt it down. I gotta get ready for this hurricane that's coming this way tomorrow. So during time to be putting up a, a, a pergola in the middle of hurricane season. We actually got two hurricanes coming. And it's not even in the ground. So I'm not gonna put it in the ground till after the hurricane. I'm just gonna bolt him uh, so I can secure it. So, before I put these cross beams down, I want to give a shout out to Bay. She went out and bought me this little contraption right here. It's a little neck fan, keep me cool right here. Um, Cause it's about 96 degrees, maybe 97 degrees out here today. And this is the day after Hurricane, what is it, Laura came through? Uh, for the Texas coast in uh, Louisiana. So praying for those folks, but we were spared here in this area, so thanking God for that. But again, I'm gonna try to put these cross beams down right here and see how it turned out. So, so Toy Grid has these, uh, these post attachments right here. They're pretty sturdy. Nice looking, sleek looking. So I'll attach each one of these and see what it look like. Toy grip. All I know is Toy Grid advertised that it'll take 45 minutes to put this thing together. But uh, me and the wifey, it was not happening. So we had to call my, my neighbor, Naberto, to come over and add a little muscle to get this thing off the ground, man. When I tell you, it's a little sweat. We've been sweating on this thing for about two days putting it together, but all in all, I definitely think it's a, a simple process. So here you have it. So we working. I was down at the fence, just throwing some rocks over the fence. And let me show you who I see down there. He looking. I don't know if you can see him, but there's Big Henry. He waiting on me to come over there. I see you, boy.
also, uh, Toy Green was so graciously on the second order when they sent it back. Um, because we had some uh, some issues, it was in the summertime and, and things were moving slow, they sent me this t-shirt um, as a goodwill gesture, I believe. And uh, yeah, and, it, and the project turned out um, pretty good. Um, I'm gonna add that sale later on to it, at least as an uh, option for having shade out here in the summertime, because it gets pretty hot out here. Could not have gotten this project done without Cree. Uh, we, we we got it done. It was in the middle of a hurricane, but we got it done. We got it up. It only took us really two days to assemble it um, because of uh, just um, just our time schedule and things of that nature. But it can take you. It's a one day project, um, but you also have to stain. Well, we not have to. We decided to stain our beans to give it a little bit of character in our backyard and with that being said you know it, I think it looks better we'll, I'm gonna come back and stain these wood panels over here the same color to kind of give it a unified look back here again thank you for tuning in to this edition of backyards you too I'm your host Mike P and remember um, it's just all about someone asked me the other day so what does the YouTube it just means backyards you you too can put your own pergola up you too can uh, cut your own grass if you choose to you too can stain your own fences or build your own pavers in your backyard so again thank you for tuning in to another episode welcome to another my neighbor's dog going crazy today. I can't even do nothing. <laughs>